Good morning, and welcome back to the channel. A question that we're often asked is, should you stay in an urbanisation rather than a small village, a small town in Spain? And obviously there's massive differences between urbanisations. Urbanisations, you've got a pool that you don't have to look after, and that comes in with the, the management fees, the monthly fee that you pay. And then there is the community aspect, but the downside. We're going to talk about the downsides of staying in an urbanisation between the upside to staying in a Spanish village. Downside is staying in an urbanisation full time. And this is for people that are moving to Spain. This is people that are going to move to Spain and stay here as a permanent resident rather than people that are looking to buy holiday homes. So I'll just get that there straight away. It's not for people that are looking to buy holiday homes. This is a for people that are moving to Spain on a permanent basis. So, so apart from having a complex like this right on your doorstep or having having the pool on your doorstep. The downside is if you stay here all year round is there's not going to be a lot of people all year round. As you can see, it's around about it's half past 12 in the afternoon and there's nobody here. There are a few dogs kicking around. There's maybe about half a dozen people stay on this side of the complex. It is a large complex with two pools, but you're not going to have an all year, all year round population. If that's something that bothers you, if it doesn't bother you, well, maybe urbanisation living is for you. Another upside of urbanisation living is you could probably get underground car parking, which is a big issue, and, and you can get your car hidden away out the sun. Now, the other side of urbanisation living is obviously come holiday season. Yes, come August, come September, it's going to be absolutely mobbed in this type of resort. Maybe you like that type of it. Maybe you like that holiday living all year round. You know, it's up to you. It is up to each and every individual person. But for us, the fact that there isn't people here all year round, there aren't people going to work. It is a more sort of retirement village type setting if you look at it like that. But if you're looking for peace and quiet, with a great pool, this is the second pool in this complex, Maybe it is for you. So, with that being said, urbanisation living wasn't for us due to the fact that we are looking for a different type of living in Spain. We're looking for a more authentic Spain. Is this the authentic Spain? Yes, it's the authentic Spain for holiday experiences. For that, it's absolutely fantastic. But if you are moving to Spain and you want to buy somewhere that is going to be permanent, and the reason I'm saying this is you get a lot of people that move to Spain and think, yeah, we could retire here. The downside is if you buy this as a holiday home to then go as a retirement home, this is what it's like around at this time of year. There's nobody here. Now, the upside of urbanisation living is there's lots of urbanisations to choose from just the same as it is villages. I'm going to show you another new modern village here, a new modern urbanization here in Playa Flamenca. Now, if you are looking for a newer type of complex, this is one just on the outskirts of Playa Flamenca. And as you can see, the setup's pretty much the same as all these type of complexes. You have obviously apartments all looking in towards the pool area. This is where we've just been, standing here. And then it has three different pools in the complex. 
Now, like I said, the, the reason that I'm talking about this for people that are staying in Spain on a permanent basis is these types of complexes can be a bit quiet at this time of year. And obviously all you're going to hear is building work. And there's a lot of building work going on in the Playa Flamenca area. So on the outskirts of Torrevieja, they're building 7,000 new properties down in Playa Flamenca. I think there's 3,000 properties getting built across the road from here. It is an, what you would class even 20 years later, 20 years later after the initial onslaught of people into the area, there is even more properties being built. What is it doing to the house prices in this area? Well, they're only going one way, and that is not down, that is for sure. Now, another thing that comes to mind when you're thinking about buying a property in this type of area, if you're like a high street type scenario, like you would get back in the UK, if you like that type of scenario in this area, is mostly commercial centres. And commercial centres are mostly nighttime venues, restaurants, pubs, and the odd nightclub thrown in. If that is great for holidays, absolutely brilliant for holidays, don't get me wrong, but when you're looking to stay on a permanent basis and you like to do a bit of shopping, clothes shopping, whatever, a meander around the shops as the missus does, um, it's not the same as having a proper town centre. But then you do have the likes of Euromarket, which is basically what they call here a Chinese supermarket. And it sells all sorts of what I call tat. Now, while we spent the first 10 months here in Spain, no, it was actually the second and third month we moved to an urbanisation. Urbanisation living was absolutely brilliant for what we needed at the time. But if you're still of working age, this is, and you get two types of people that will move to Spain. A lot of people will move to Spain when they're older and retired, and the urbanisation is fantastic for them um, because you've got everything that you need really on your doorstep. But sometimes, when you're a bit younger, like what we were when we first moved to Spain, you need to see a bit of normality. And that's what I'm kind of getting at this part of the video. You need a bit of normality, people getting up in the morning, walking their dogs, going to work, all before 10 o'clock in the morning. What we found staying on an urbanization full time of working age is that staying on an urbanization where nobody really gets up early, nobody goes to work, and um, there could be during the summer a lot of people having late nights, wasn't for us personally. So, with that being said, Playa Flamenca is a fantastic area of Spain. We love it, it holds a lot of great memories for us, and we still come down here a lot. Our favourite restaurant, our favourite Asian restaurant, is the Bozai, the Bozai Asian restaurant in the Playa Flamenca centre. And if you go there, and if you tell Jen that we sent you there, she'll take good care of you, that is for sure. Now, at least the buildings will stop at some time. You have the go-karts, and then you've got the N332. And you've got a little just down there. You do have all the major supermarkets in and around this area. It's not all that bad, but it's just a, a certain type of living when you're in an area like this. And then this is the area, as you can see, across here, the way the Spanish do it, is they build the roads first. They build the roads, and then they build the properties. This area, there was a big demonstration because this was the last green belt part of this area. And this joins Playa Flamenca to Punta Prima, down to Lasagna. This will be full of properties in just about a year and a half's time. Because that's how quick they throw them up. Now that they've got the road in position, it won't take them too long. And the only hotel in the area is this one. The Lasagna Hotel. And then you have another hotel that is a way up at this side. But that comes under the Torre Vieca. That's up at Punta Prima. So in our most recent videos, I have been showing you around small villages in Spain, just to give you a comparison to what you can expect, just a little bit inland. And let's face it, what you can buy inland versus what you could buy one of these properties on the coastline, 
Well, <laughs> he doesn't say any more. You can get a lot more for your money just in land than you will do here. But these properties are selling like hotcakes. So on that note, I hope you've enjoyed this little walk around Playa Flamenca, talking about urbanization living versus staying in a Spanish town or village. For us, we get a bit of, bit of both worlds. We stay just outside and we can pop in. For some people, maybe they don't want that. Some people just want the holiday lifestyle all year round. But that comes with its own dangers, especially with the price of drink in Spain, as so many, many people have found out over the years. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a nice, beautiful sunny day. It is around about 22 degrees this afternoon. And on that note, hasta luego.